My name's Brian Cardinal. I'm from Sad Lake Cree Nation, Treaty 6. My mom's from Sad Lake, and my dad's from Gruard, Treaty 8. How long have you been skating? Uh, since 2010, so nine years. Who are your sponsors? Rumor Board Shop and Goldie Streetwear. I'm working on a full-length video with Rumor Board Shop. It's Rumor 2, the second video they're going to be releasing. It's going to be my first video with them, pretty stoked. Following up their 2016 release, Rumor 1. Yep. Goldie Skateboards just dropped a full-length skateboard film. What was that called? It was called The Internet Cafe, and it got published on SBC Canada. It's a Canadian skateboard magazine that's pretty, that was hyped on our video, so they posted it. Pretty stoked on that. Mm, Tegler Youth Center, this is a place. This is a skate park for me, to be honest. It's a youth center there, but I just go to the skate. It's met a lot of friends there, have a lot of good memories back growing up there been going there probably like i don't know practically started skateboarding there so one of my favorite places to skate good times i just started it was fun and it was something to do and i don't know it definitely shaped me as a person and helped me get to a lot of places i don't know where i'd be without skateboarding skateboarding has taught me just to work hard for things you want that may not seem possible but just with lots of consistency and effort you can get what you want and I don't know, it just taught me just to always just keep on trying. Just, I don't know, just keep on trying until you get get what you want. Without skateboarding, I, probably, I don't even know what I'd be doing. Been skateboarding too long to even think about that. So I just, I don't know, just, I just skate all whenever I can just because it's fun. Just a passion for it, just love to do it, just so, just fun. Would you say skateboarding is uh, better for you than organized sports and why would that be? Better for me, I like it just because I don't know, you're not, a, you're not working as a team, like you're your own team pretty much, like work at your own pace, just you don't have to put much pressure on yourself or other people, it's just you and your skateboard and that's just the best part about it. It takes you away from things, just makes you feel free, it's just awesome, just love skateboarding. Don't know what else to say about it. Um, I, have a, I had a whole bunch of friends that used to go to tag, they just, you know, like, 20 at least so many to names but there's the one homie judas that still skates he's been there since like the beginning too and everybody else i'm not sure what they're doing some of them fell off like i don't know just lost contact with them or just stopped skating and um big four days we used to go there after tagler with like a whole bunch of kids like i don't know 10 of us we'd just be hucking just trying to ollie it to see who could be the first one to get it we'd go there like mid-january like february it's pretty awesome good times back then oh uh, yeah nick was like definitely a big inspiration growing up because i don't know i got him i, I got, practically like got him into skating like first day of junior high grade seven i seen him started skating he's already could do tricks and stuff just got super good and then and then all of a sudden we were at big four one day like a couple years down the road and he kick flipped it for the rumor friends part yeah that was sick he yeah he did a whole bunch of tricks on big four just like it was easy like front big front shove and he just posted them on instagram nonchalantly not even thinking about it yeah nick was sick when he uh did the kickflip on big four was it like planned out were you meeting up with the rumor squad or were they just there no it wasn't planned out at all we were just going there to skate after just like normal sesh after tagly because we'd go skate downtown skate park age and then the rumor squad just opened to be there and then yeah nick was just hucking kickflip i remember a few homies were hucking uh, i was just coming off an ankle injury so i wasn't trying to huck back then but yeah that was sick how old were you guys probably like 12 to 13 at least Central, Central 13, where's that at? I think they're just up here. Probably blocked up. Yeah, you only get like a couple tries. Like five to ten minutes max. There it is. Favorite trick to go down on this thing? Mm. What, jump down this? Kickflip? Kickflip? Mm -hmm. Or back 180. Our back 180 did bend down a few times. We both back 180 did a shit. Over to you. Option tail grab. Yeah, yeah. Bend down this 
Merci. Alright, didn't even get time to set up. Should go up this way. What, what did, why are you so mad? Okay, you guys can't be taking pictures in here. You're on private property. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care about security anymore, to be honest. They're like, they're coming there, to like, it. Yeah, they're, they're doing a job. That's cool. Though. I don't know. It makes it like a bit more fun. Yeah. <laughs> a little more exciting. Yeah. I go to a Miss Kuchi Academy in grade 12. I'm gonna be graduating this year. Um, it offers a Indigenous Studies 100. It's a McEwen dual credit course. You get 10 credits for it. It's pretty good program and good people, good teachers. Drum every morning. It's called the morning song or we have a sweat lodge just outside of school. Go in there once a month. It's pretty, pretty cool. Go in there whenever I can. Okay, growing up in Edmonton, Alberta, I was just wondering if you have ever felt any sort of racism or noticed any sort of prejudice towards you growing up. Yeah, I definitely have, but I don't let it. I don't let it bother me. Just like, just stereotypes. Just, just don't really know the facts and it's going off. I don't know TV or something. Just something they read. So I don't. I don't really. I don't let it get to me. But I definitely see it and see it and can feel it but yeah I don't let it bother me shout out to Tagler Youth Center for letting us film some some of the clips there and shout out to the homie Judas for f getting some clips with that it shout out to Jordan shout out to the indigenous youth and indigenous culture and yeah friends and family all right hey.